Hi, I'm Rose from Dynamic Canines, and January is National Train Your Dog Month. 77% of dog bites each year take place within the family home and occur mostly to children that are already known to the dog, the family dog. Often the reason for this happening is that it's the way that we approach and we greet dogs. Children like to hug, adults like to hug. We're primates. However, in dog language, hugging a dog is seen as a threat. So when a dog places their paw across the back of another dog's shoulders or withers, this is intent. It's considered a challenge to the other dog. But as humans, when we go to hug a dog, we don't think anything of it. But we're keeping them forcibly in place and at the same time, in the canine body language world, they're thinking that you're threatening them. You notice with my stuffed dog, his head is turned away. Oftentimes this is what happens, is the dog will try to turn away to get away from the situation, or what they'll do is they'll try to back away from us, to birth away from that, and avoid possible conflict. It's really important that if you want to interact and show love to your dog, that you find out how canines perceive what way love is. Generally, what works really well, a little rub on the chest, they really like this. Have a nice scratch under the chin. And of course, my all-time favorite are stand-up belly rubs. This is a way that dogs appreciate and they enjoy it, but the dog will always let you know if they're enjoying that interaction. So think twice next time before you go to hug a dog, have a look at it and see what they're seeing. Perhaps instead they prefer just that scratch under the chin.